Alrighty, shalom, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matiahu, you're in Time Watchman. As you see at the bottom of the screen there, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Hope you guys are having a blessed week. I uh, understand we're living in some trying times. We do the best that we can. We trust in Yahusha. Fantastic. Welcome. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, uh, thank you guys for coming on the Shabbat talk last week. I really enjoyed uh, the conversations that we had. Um, Sorry if you guys hear my dog grinding on his bone in the back over here. He's teething really bad. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, so I thoroughly enjoy the Shabbat talks that we have every week. If you guys ever want to join, just like I said, every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live uh, for my Shabbat talks, um, and I, you guys can chat with each other live in the chat, and I, or sometimes I put a link out there, well, the majority of the time, I put a link out there, and you guys can click that link and come on and talk with me live if you guys want to discuss the topic of Yahoo Show or the faith, or, you know what I mean, stuff like that. Um, you guys can also email me at natsareemunited at yahoo.com. Uh, natsareemunited is all one word, N-A-T-S-A-R-I-M, united, all one word. Uh, natsareemunited at yahoo.com. You guys can email me. Um, um, go to my, the community section of my YouTube page. Um, you guys can uh, see if I post anything, uh, uh, any uh, polls or questionnaires that I might post, or maybe if I'm not doing a Shabbat talk, sometimes I'll post on there and let you guys know what I'm doing for the week. Um, so uh, thank you guys for joining me. I'm glad you guys are here. Glad you guys are watching. Make sure you guys give those thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section of what you think about this video today. I really appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the seven feasts or Yahuwah's calendar as well. Um, because we have the first day of the year coming up, the official first day of the year, uh, Passover. We have unleavened bread, first fruit, Shavuot, and then we have the fall feast that'll be coming up in the seventh month. And we're gonna be talking about that today, when that is, and how to calculate that, and to know when it is. Um, um, so, um, yeah, when it comes to what what you do on these days, just refer to. You know, uh, Deuteronomy 16 and Leviticus 23, if you want to know what you have to do on the on these days, okay? But today we're going to talk about how you calculate, how you can tell uh, uh, when the first day of the year is, Passover, all of that. How do you tell? How do we calculate that? How do we know? Uh, from this channel here, anyways, the Nazarene, the End Time Watchman, this is how we calculate. And I know that there's a lot of different people out there. I'm going to be talking about this in my further Shabbat talks coming up. A lot of people out there have a lot of different uh, ways that they calculate, have a lot of different calendars. A lot of different calendars are out there. Um, so um, I go by Yahuwah's calendar, like I would say, and that would be what we see, what we read in the scriptures. So all right, let me get that away from you. So anyways, um, put that stuff over there. Okay, so anyways, um, yeah, and I'm going to try to make this as simple as I possibly can. I'm not going to try to take up too much of your guys' time. So if you guys just have, you know, 10, 15 minutes and you want to learn about how to tell time and you want to learn about when the feasts are this year, then, you know, lend me your ear and uh, take a listen to what I am have to say. I urge you guys to go to time and date calendar to check out and verify all my information and you'll see that, that it's true. Also, search the scriptures, Deuteronomy and Leviticus will tell you all about the same thing that I'm talking about. Um, so, um, 
And there's many verses through the scripture that talk about the new moon and the, the, the starting of the month and uh, the starting of the year and things of that nature. So um, I got a chart that I'm going to be going through here in a sec too. Um, I accidentally erased a little bit. But I have a chart here that we're going to go through a little bit. I got a, a light that's like literally right on me, so it's probably a little bright on this chart. Okay, so just to make it real simple for you guys, um, we calculate the first of the year simply by the vernal equinox. Okay, so actually I should probably just pull this back out while I'm at it. Okay, so the vernal equinox is how we judge when we are to how are we excuse me how we're supposed to look for the sign to start our new year so we have the vernal equinox okay which is usually around march 20th okay so there's the vernal equinox and the vernal equinox that we're uh and what we're looking for either before or after it is the new moon or the dark moon is that they call it so here's the vernal equinox okay and this is around march 20th now, what we do is either it's going to be 14 days after or 14 days before, and we're looking for the new moon, right? Because a lot of people say uh, it's always after the vernal equinox. That's not true. We're looking for the new moon closest to the vernal equinox, closest to the vernal equinox. So um, this year, the moon closest to the vernal equinox is the new moon that happens on March 13th. The night of March 13th is the new moon and that signals off the first day of the year. Okay, so March 13th, day one. Okay, very simple. You look for the March 20th, right? Vernal equinox and then just simply count 14 days before and then 14 days after and see which new moon comes up first, okay? Now you can't have that. See which new moon comes up first. So the new moon this year, closest to the vernal equinox, okay, is March 13th. The moon that's after, okay, and let me see if I can show you guys real quick on my screen here. The moon after, in this scene right here, you can see that this is the month of March. Now the new moon is on the 13th, right, and then you see March 20th, right, below where the new moon is, right. Then we have the calendar next to it april 2021 and the next new moon in april 2021 is the 11th as you see on the calendar that is 14 that is way past 14 days so that is incorrect so we want to go with the new moon closest to the vernal equinox not necessarily just the one after it can be after or before it can be after or before it doesn't necessarily have to be just after okay so on this, we are looking at the first day of the year is the new moon, okay? Is the new moon. Give me one sec, guys. Okay. So. I did not mean to do that. We'll just have to come back here. Okay. My, my, my sides are gone. Don't worry about that. Anyways, um, um, okay, so we're looking at, the, here's the vernal equinox, okay? Here. Yeah, you take that, Bo. Okay. We're looking at the vernal equinox. So here's the vernal equinox, okay? This is March 20th, and then March 13th is 14 days. Hopefully, Hopefully you guys can see this pretty good. There we go. That's better. There, that's way better. I mean, there, there we go. Equinox, 14 days prior, 14 days after. So the 13th is going to be within the 14-day period, but April 11th is way past the 14 days. Okay. So, and many people who are going after are using the full moon, or going after, or going past this point, right? Because Passover can't be more than 30 days past 
the vernal equinox, because you can have your new moon appear any time after here in this range, right? And then your your full moon will be over here 15, 14 and 15 days. Remember, the 15th day is always a new uh, uh, full moon. Okay, so day one is the 13th of March, which is, like I said, the new moon. And we calculate that because it's the new moon, like I said, closest to the vernal equinox, closest, which is March 20th. Then we count, okay, 14 days to Passover, okay, which is the 14th day, which is March 26th, okay, March 26th. So going back, let me get back to this uh, calendar scene here. Going back here, we have, you can see March 26th falls on a Friday. That is the 14th day, well, excuse me, the 13th day, but the night is the 14th day. So that night signals the 14th day into the 27th night of the 27th, and that is one day, and that's the that's Passover. And then that night is the beginning of unleavened bread. And then the morrow after the Shabbat, in this case, is the 28th, which is the first fruits. So Passover is the night of the 26th. Unleavened bread is the night of the 27th. And then first fruits is the 28th. Because first fruits always falls on the Sunday. It's always the morrow after the Sabbath. Okay, guys? Okay, so we're going closest to the vernal equinox, guys. So day one, we have March 13th. Passover is the 26th. Unleavened bread, the 15th day. Unleavened bread, by the way, would be a full moon. All right, the 27th, that's a, the, that night is a full moon, okay? That's how you know it's unleavened bread because it's the 15th day. So always keep that in mind. First day is the new moon which is the dark moon, and then the 15th day is the full moon, which is, you know, the bright moon, okay? So unleavened bread would be the 15th, and then the next, which is the morrow after the Sabbath, is going to be first fruits, okay? Now, the first Sabbath during unleavened bread, you count seven Sabbaths to get to Shavuot. So the first Sabbath during Unleavened Bread, this year it happens to be on the first day of Unleavened Bread, you count seven Sabbaths. Count seven Sabbaths, and this year it falls on the 8th of May. So the 8th of May, the 8th of May is the beginning of, here, come here. The 8th of May is Shavuot, or Pentecost, all right? That's going to be 50 days, okay? It's going to be 50 days past the, uh, if you start your count correctly, it will be 50 days past uh, 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 first fruits. Then we get into the 7th month, and we have the first day is Teruah, the first day, and you'll see, notice that it's in September this year. The first day, though, is the 6th of September. That'll be Teruah. That's the first day because it's the new moon. And the 10th day, all you do is count 10 days after that, is the 15th of September. That's Kafar or, or Atonement. And then we look for the 15th day, which is the new moon, or the full moon, excuse me. That's Sukkot. That's the 19th of September that night. Remember, all of these days, you start at the night. Remember, evening to evening. You don't start any of the days that I said in the morning or all the evening, okay? So day one, the 13th, Passover is the 26th, uh, excuse me, day one, the 13th of March, Passover, the 26th of March, Matzah, the 27th of March, uh, the uh, First Fruits is the 28th of March, Shavuot is the 8th of May, Teruah is the 6th of September, Kafar is the 15th of September, and... Uh, Sukkot is the 19th of September, and it ends on the 26th of September. Um, and these are all starting at the evening to the next evening, 
uh, go two videos back to my actually I'll put it in this video the uh, it'll be on this side at the end of the video uh, it'll be uh, uh, the Shab uh, uh, when does the scriptural day begin the true Shabbat check that video out um, about evening to evening so how you guys understand how we get to evening to evening all right so I think that's pretty that's pretty much it you know the remember the new moon will never will never fall more than 14 days before or after the vernal equinox so before so here's the vernal equinox before or after the new moon will always fall in between here never after never after this period because then it'll wind up going past the 30 days um Remember, the first day is the new moon, the 15th day is the full moon, and this can only work with the heliocentric model. So all of you guys who believe that the earth is flat, I'm here to tell you that the vernal equinox is when the sun is crossing the equator coming into the northern hemisphere. That only works on a globe, on a round earth. It doesn't work on a flat earth, and this is the proof right here. Now, if you don't understand the proof, that's not my fault. That doesn't make it any less true. OK, but this only works on an earth that's round. Remember, the Passover will always fall in the first 30 days after the vernal equinox. So here's the vernal equinox. It's always within the first 30 days, guys. This is when the Passover will fall always without question. And you go because we're going by the new moon. Remember, because the new moon can fall in this period as well. So we have all the way to here. But anything after the 30 days after the vernal equinox, no, guys, it doesn't work. So that's pretty much it, guys. The way you get to the new moon to count the first day of the year, you go to March 20th, which is the vernal equinox or the spring equinox. And you count 14 days before and after and see which new moon comes first. That's what you do. And that's how you know it's day one. This year it happens to be before the vernal equinox. It'll be on March 13th. That's day one. Then count 14 days. You get to Passover. That's the 26th. Matzah is the 27th. The morrow after the Shabbat, which would be first fruits, is the 28th, always on a Sunday. Count 50 days. Shavuot is the 8th. Teruah is the 6th of September. Now we're in the fall equinox. So you go to the fall equinox right and you go to the first new moon closest in this instance i'd have to check and see when that oh yeah six the sixth of september because the fall equinox is the 22nd of september so cut it out cut it out come on lay down there you go okay so I'm trying to see if i got everything here Okay, yeah, the fall equinox is the 22nd of September. The new moon is the 6th of September, so that's the 1st. The 15th day, or excuse me, the 10th day is the 15th of September, Kafar, and then Sukkot is the 19th. And remember, the 19th will be a full moon. Same thing with, with matzah this year. Uh, the 27th of March, that will be a full moon. That's how you'll know it's the 15th day. Just like scripture says. Okay, I don't think I'm missing anything. I want to thank a dear friend of mine too for helping me out with this chart. This was his idea with this chart. Uh, a good friend of mine. Hopefully to have him on here shortly. So anyways, that's how you guys count to get to the... Um, First of the year, and then Passover, and then all of the rest of the feast. Vernal equinox, and then it's either 14 days before or 14 days after. Whichever new moon is closest to the vernal equinox, that's how you start your count. And I've done that before on my show. I've showed you guys on the time and date calendar, which I plan on doing in the future on, on the future Shabbats. So listen, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I love you guys with all my heart. Um, make sure you guys join me this Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I go live for my Shabbat Talks. Uh, thumb this video up. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, I really appreciate it. It helps this channel out. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Like I said, I'm going to put a video up here. Uh, it'll be right here at the end of this video. Uh, 
uh, about the, when the scriptural day begins from evening to evening. And that follows into this time thing uh, right here. The reason why I'm bringing this stuff up because I think that a lot of people are curious about it. A lot of people don't understand how to tell this time thing. And we think it's very simple and we think we figured out the method of the madness. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope we all learned something. I know I've been having an awesome time learning a lot about how to tell time and going through this process. It's been months and months of dealing with this and it's been, really been a fantastic thing. Growing a lot, learning a lot. And I'm... Um, What's awesome is I, I'm, I'm really glad that I'm able to bring it to you guys in this simplified form that we can all understand and uh, we can all follow. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, shalom to you and your family. I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you guys for joining me. Let me get ready here. Uh, I don't know if you guys are new or not, uh, but at the end of all my videos, I have this little mantra I like to say. Please shout it out to the rooftops. I appreciate it. Throw it in the comment section. Uh, but at the end of all my videos... I love, love, love to say, run to Yahusha.